All right. I severely overestimated how long the author can write for on one single topic because uh, Twilight the Tank Engine, The New Arrival, really sort of just made me expect more from this author. So each of these episodes are going to have two to three uh, fan fictions from now on for this for this kind of author, not just Christina Prime, where, you know, the chapters are about uh, ten, ten words long. So, um, yeah. So, uh, let's get started. Welcome, sheep, friends, and newcomers to Fanfiction Reading Time, where I have a little running commentary over the first chapter of whatever bad fanfiction crosses my path. Today, we're continuing the Christina Prime 23 trilogy with the pieces Thomas in the Town of Sheet, uh, Sheet Rock Hills and Gordon Goes Foreign. If you've read the Railway series recently, you'll find the latter one familiar. And you should, too. But we'll get into that when, it, when the time comes. For now, we're going to the story of Thomas in the Town of Sheet Rock Hills. Rated K+, English, Romance and Adventure. Thomas and Molly, Edward and James. Words 384, Favorites 1, published the 10th of April, 2015, Gregorian. Um, the island of Sodor is a beautiful place to visit, but, I mean, kind of terrifying to live in because of all the goddamn rail accidents. Like, seriously, how does the Northwestern Railway even afford to stay afloat? It even has two main railways in operation. One is the aforementioned Northwestern Railway, or NWR for short, and there is the Scarlowy Railway, or SKR for short. Tomorrow was an exciting day, as Thomas, James, Edward, and Thomas's girlfriend, Molly, were to be going to Canada for a tour. Really, Canada this time, and not like the mainland or Japan, where they're really big. Uh, and also, um... Now, this brings up an interesting thing, because, like, Molly was only in the show for, like, one or two seasons in, what, 2006? So, um, I, I really don't get, uh, so this person probably, is probably an adult, or whatever. Um, like, I know that Thomas the Tank Engine in 2006 was more of a baby show, but, like, by then, uh, but, like, that was 11 years ago by now. So, this person would have to be at least, um... At least... F 14, maybe? Yeah, 14? 11 through 14 to have written this and have been a child when Molly was there. But, more likely, this person is an adult. And, um... This person is an adult and likes this show because they... They're either a troll who has way too much spare time and access to Wikia, or they're a mentally uh, disabled person. But hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go easy on this person just because they might have some mental defects. Cause, cause you know me, I'm kind of a terrible person. Uh, so let's rip into this. Or, knows about, or NWR for short, and there's the Scarlowy Railway, or SKR for short, which nobody has, well, which nobody has ever used um, in prose. They always say either the Northwestern Railway, the Railway, Sir Topham Hatt's Railway, the Fat Controllers Railway, or, you know, anything other than that. And, um, but one of the good things is that this author actually knows that the Scarlowy Railway is separate from the Northwestern. James, I can't wait to go to Canada, Thomas. Uh, okay, why? Um, yeah, why? Uh, I'm pretty sure that Canada is most, is mostly French people, ice, and, um, and seals. I mean, that's, that's, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like, there's a couple of tribes of English people, but mostly, mostly what, the former of what I said. Um, Thomas, me either, James, but who will do our work whilst we are on our tour? You know, they don't bring over any engines from the mainland. They don't ask the Bluebell Railway if, if they can borrow one of their engines when they're not using it. They just, uh, they just, uh, you know, they do this. Uh, just then the Fat Control arrived, Sir Topham Hat 
I have the answer for your question, Thomas, that I didn't hear because I just barely arrived after you finished asking it. You, Molly Edward, and James's work will be covered by Doug Oliver, Donald, and Douglas. Sorry. Um, now, I want you, who don't have enough work on their own branch line, the um, Arlington branch line, the Little Western, they, they need to come over here and do your work as well, because I, because I hate my engines. Now, I want you to, now, I want you for to be your, oh, behave yourselves. Are we clear? God, I wouldn't be making so many mistakes if, if this just wasn't written in a way that, promotes skimming. This is like skim. This is advocacy for skimming. Engines, yes sir. With that, Sir Topham Hat left. Edward, when are we going to be at the docks? The docks what, Edward? Thomas, we leave for Bre for Brendam docks. Brendam docks what? Tomorrow at five o'clock. And th that, w that tone of voice thing that that was I can't, I can't do Air quotes, so, so that's... It, it's five quotes o'clock. Um, Molly, that's early. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that most steam locomotives have at least once had timetables that include five o'clock shifts. Um, it's not that uncommon for railways to have them. Also, James, you're to head for the steamworks for a repaint. James, whatever for? Molly, search me, but it's your top of mass orders, James. James just sighed... Actually, you know, search me is actually pretty interesting uh, common vernacular for for Christina Prime 23. So, um, yeah. James just sighed and shoved to the steamworks for his repaint, but when he got there, he saw something that made his firebox run cold. And yes, something was in all caps because this author is because this author is is the mental equivalent of a of a three year old. Yeah. Um, there next to Victor were a pair of wooden brake blocks and black paint alongside iron brake blocks. Because, you know, fire hazard? What's that? Uh, but to, uh, you know, liability? Because one of your engines, because you replaced the safer, more modern brake blocks with wooden brake blocks? Because, because you wanted authentic authenticity before safety? No, you could never get sued for that. You wouldn't... Well, well I mean, considering the Northwestern's luck with staying open, even though there are so many potential lawsuits that should have been shut down in the 60s, um... Yeah, um... I guess with the Northwestern's luck, that's... Even if thousands of people die in a railway fire, that's, um... They can just go fuck themselves, am I right? Am I right? Um... Yeah, because the Northwestern's not gonna... The Northwestern's not gonna get sued or anything. I mean, have you seen their legal track record? It's... It's, um... It's definitely... Questionably clean. Um... Yeah. James, hello, Victor. How are gasps? Victor. Are those my old brake blocks? Am I to be repainted in my original black paint? Victor, yes, James, my friend, they are. They are. Now, let's get you ready, and don't worry. We've made sure that when you reach Bre Breedom Blocks... I mean, shit. This is the se- Okay, I'm re-recording this, so this is the second time I've accidentally said Breedom Blocks. So, ma I made sure that when you reach Breedom Docks, where you can attach them to your wheels. What? That is just a Chinese bootleg of a sentence right there. The meaning is completely lost in in the lack of punctu punctuation and just random words being vomited out, I guess. I think that's how this author just makes these fan fictions. She just vomits out, word, out words onto word documents and then submits them. There's no other way you can make this. Um... Soon James was ready for the trip, but he couldn't help but feel nervous. When the other engines saw James in his black coat of paint, they thought he was new. You know, despite him still looking exactly the same as before. I guess this is kind of a running theme in Christina Prime, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine fan fictions. If you're painted differently, nobody will ever recognize you. 
it's it's the perfect disguise, basically. What Clark Kent and his and his glasses? What are you a faggot? Just just wear a different T-shirt than usual, and you'll and you'll just be uh, per, you'll just be Casey Neistat, okay, hand. God, um, and you'll just you'll be you'll be undetectable. What's that? Um, cloaking devices? Nah, man. Nah. A, a different a different underwear will nobody will be able to recognize you. I guess I guess this person um doesn't change clothes because otherwise she might think that other people won't recognize her. God. Um Gordon, hello, who are you? James, annoyed. Gordon, cut the scrap. It's me, James. Okay, that was that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good, I'll admit. Um that's uh that's one point of creativity and uh that's um that's a ratio of one to negative fifty. Yeah. And I mean considering actually, you know what, I was gonna try to justify this, but it's not it's unju it's unjustifiable. This is this is just Somehow, somehow this is less creative than other fanfiction writers. I didn't even think that was possible, but this person is ripped off more than other fanfiction writers. That's, that's, uh, that's a new low. It's a new low, Christina Prime 23. That's, and this isn't even the lowest point of this author. You'll see the lowest point soon enough. Just you wait. Um, James, was, James was annoyed at not only Gordon, but at the others, too. Emily. James, what's with the new paint? Oh, sorry. Um, and James, now upset. It's not new, Emily. It's my old paintwork. Um, the other engines. Oh? Despite the other engines having seen James in his new, I mean, in his old paintwork. In fact, he only got his new paintwork in, like, 1925. But he was there on the island since, like... Oh, wait. Um, he only got his new paintwork in, like, 1930, but he was on the island since 1925. So that would have been, like, five years of, um, seeing that paintwork. I'm pretty sure they would have recognized it. Even if that was 90 years in the past. These engines, they don't have too bad a, too bad memory. I mean, Thomas seems to have Alzheimer's in the, in the new seasons. Even though everyone says that the, um... The new guy is pretty good. He's not. Because, like, Thomas is an absolute retard in the new seasons. He's just... I... He, he's horrible. This... I, I'm gonna go off topic a little bit to talk about the Thomas the Tank Engine series as a whole. It's so horrible nowadays. Um, back in, like, the first three seasons when they were... When, when they stuck to Railway Series stories, they were, like, it was pretty good, you know? It was... It had pretty good special effects. It wasn't the Thomas show yet, despite being named after him, I guess. Um, uh, it was it was still fine, you know. Um, yeah, that was that was those were the seasons that I had as a little kid, and they're why I like the series. I mean, the railway series. Um, if I had the newer uh, seasons that were out at the time, like uh, 7 through 12 or whatever, I probably would have really hated the show, but since I had the uh, the early 80s, uh, I mean the late 80s, early 90s seasons, um, those are the, that's one of the few good things to come out of the 1980s, besides, I guess, the 80s did rap, and, um, and hair metal pretty well as well, which no other decade has uh, done as good. Oh yeah, uh, I, I neglected to mention this uh, this story, which seems to have been aborted because it was published on 2015 and hasn't gotten a second chapter. The, uh, this series was going to be a Handy Manny crossover with Thomas the Tank Engine. Handy Manny. Mm, sorry. Um, I don't think they're by the same company. I guess you can prove me wrong or whatever, but... Uh, good God, that's that would have been horrible. Um, 
So, uh, so uh, enough, enough of that. Let's go to the second one. Uh, Gordon goes foreign, a title and a fan fiction which should sound very familiar to the people who love the railway series, like I, like myself. Rated K plus, English adventure and friendship. Gordon, words twenty uh, two forty nine. Favorites 2, Follows 1, published the uh, 12th of June, 2015, Gregorian. Engines coming to sort or pull their trains, stay the night, then go home the next day. One morning, Gordon was talking to one of these. When I was young and painted green, I remember going to London. You know the, you know the place? It's stations, King's Cross, Gordon said. King's Cross, snorted the engine. London's Euston, everybody knows that. Rubbish, said Doc Crossley. London's Paddington. I know I worked there. What check? said a voice. London's St. P it was definitely funny the funnier the first time. You should have heard my breakdown. I wish I didn't delete that uh that one, but London's St. Pancreas. I know I've been there before. That's I'm that's pretty funny. Um, man, the first time I, the first time I saw that line, it was, I had broken down. I was laughing for like a, a solid minute. Oh. The three engines startled were looking for the source of the voice. There was an engine that looked similar to Gordon. Um, there was an engine that used to look similar to Gordon. Is that? Is that the one you wanted to say? The four engines argued when the went to s the four engines argued when the went to sleep. They argued when they woke up. They were still arguing when the wizard went away. Uh, yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Keep on spouting that. Uh, what is that? Afrikaans, uh, Scots, uh, uh, Bantu. Because I sure as hell is in English. Good. Good God. This, despite what this author says, these aren't written in English. I refuse to believe this is English. This is like, this is, this is English as interpreted by like an Irish person in their native state, which is, you know, drunk off their ass and incomprehensible. Um, The four engines argued when the went to sleep. Oh, yeah. Stupid thing, I have no patience. Stupid yourself, said Duck. London's Paddington. Paddington, do you hear? Stop arguing, broke in James, stopping the argument. You three make me tired. Besides, do you three agree on, any on something anyway? What's that? The three asked. London's not Euston. Now shut up, laughed James. So I guess I'll be London's not Euston. Now shut up. Laughed James. Gordon, not amused, puffed away crossly. I'm sure it's King's Cross. I'll go and prove it, he said. But that was easier said than done. Uh, London lay beyond the big station. Gordon would bring the big express to the station, and the other engine takes it on to London. If it didn't stop there, I could go to London, Gordon thought. Um, so yeah, this is basic. This is, for the most part, um, a carbon copy... Well, not a carbon copy. Um, well, it's, it's a carbon copy if the original was a diamond. If the original was a diamond, this is a this is carbon, because um, it's the same thing, just worse. Um, and I don't think Gore. I, mean, I mean, I don't think Henry was uh, involved in it. But other than that, it's, it really is just the same thing. This author has hit a new low of 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 unoriginality, like, I don't think that you could be any less original unless you, um, unless you just straight up, letter for letter, copied over the, copied over the, um, story itself, and just posted it, um, which I'm sure this author has done a couple times. Uh, I haven't seen one, but it's not at 
all outside the realms of plausibility. I mean, this is basically, for the most part, that, but, you know, obviously done from memory and not straight from the book itself. Um, also, I've noticed that um, when she's copying the Railway series from the book, uh, she uses uh, more prose things like like said tags, um, but never uses uh, quotation marks, which is which is curious because how do you not use quotation marks? They're in everything. Quotation marks are in every piece of fiction, including the railway series. So how do you manage to not know what a quotation mark is? I mean, it's, it's not as bad as the comma thing, because at least you can somewhat understand things without quotation marks. Uh, I mean, uh, at least you can understand dialogue without quotation marks when each um, piece of dialogue is in its new paragraph. Without, without uh, commas, though, this thing is just incomprehensible. I mean, um, you know, well, I mean, more incomprehensible than it already is. Um, not as incomprehensible as uh, Jacksepticeye's speech, but, you know, incomprehensible as, as it were. Um, so, uh, that should do for this episode. We're running to about 25 minutes, so, um, doodaloo, go with God, and don't take any wooden nickels, and also don't write this, don't write on this level of bad. Uh, so, goodbye, my sheep, friends, and newcomers. I hope to see you all next time on Fan Fiction Reading Time. St. Pancreas is shit, everyone knows that. The real place to be is Puddington. Hear me? Puddington!